All right. <laughs> Shall we rock and roll, friends? I'm oh, ridiculously excited about this, actually. I think I might have gone a little overboard with the amount of memes and screenshots from Discord just because I don't have a life and I'm off work until this is my last day off work. So I've been doing nothing for quite some time. I'm still here. I'm telling my dog in. Of course. Oh, Echo, my beloved. Forgot I wanted to show you guys something. Ooh, I love being shown things. Well, um, I sent that screenshot in the Discord a while back about this, like, ambassadors program for the local running store. Oh, yeah. And I joined it, and I went and I picked up my, uh... Hell yeah. How oh, cool it is. I love it. Mm. Yeah, so it's... It's that got, like, the map of Rochester. Hell yeah. Like, how cool is that? I'm very excited. I literally just picked it up, like, half an hour ago. So. Very exciting indeed. Yeah, I'm real jazzed. Anyway. Um, so today I received a text from one of my friends who lives in Russia, and right now I'm not sure if she's in St. Petersburg or if she's in Omsk, but either way, she texted me at either um, midnight or 3 a.m., one of the two, to ask me if I have watched Our Flag Means Death. <laughs> sure, yeah. Which like, Which, like, it's just, you know, such a vibe. But I, like, received that message, I'm like, it's, like, late afternoon here. And then I went and, like, looked at my, like, world clock on my phone, and I was like, oh yeah, that tracks. That tracks. So. What's going on with y'all? Nothing. Doing a podcast, you know? Turns out my Aunt Betty has been listening to the podcast. Oh, really? Yeah. Fun. Hi, Aunt Betty. I went and got lunch with her the other day, and she was like, what's your podcast again? And I was like, mm, you sure you really want to know that? <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. It is greatly appreciated. Um, I believe she might have technically had a hand in some of the things that will be on today's podcast. Fascinating. With On that note... Yeah. Let's, well, um... Later. Yeah, uh... Yeah, let's all just have that pulled up, like, on our own. Like, I'm not gonna stream it or anything. We'll just go through by numbers. Would any, would we like to start... It doesn't matter which one we start with, because they're numbered. You want uh, point out, you did... When we... When I was told we were numbering them, I didn't realize we were also naming which platform they came from. I mean, I did <gasps> definitely say that, but that's okay, as long as they're in an order. They are definitely ordered. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, uh, would either of you two like to start, or shall I? I really don't care either way, but figured I'd extend the offer. I just want to say, to be fair, you do have more than we do, but the Discord is the place where we have, like, the most ridiculous of the interactions. Yeah. 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 So. I would say that's pretty it, it, accurate. Do we want to, like, save that for last, then? We could. I defer to y'all. I defer. First. Sweet, okay. So, Zach, tell everyone what you've named your submissions, by the way. Instead of just naming them, like, Twitter. No, I'm good. <laughs> well, people are seeing <laughs> it anyway. <laughs> yeah, good. No, yeah. Um, Like I said... I either did not realize or did not see or both that we were <laughs> specifying the platform. But because you guys both specify your platforms, mine just comes about by, by process of elimination. Of course. So on to um, Glizzy1. This is what we with... get up to on the Bird app. <laughs> well, see, it's also kind of fitting because that's where we're like the most unhinged. So in a way... Um, which is also, I think, why there wasn't a whole lot for Brooks, because Brooks is, like, like, out of all of us, Brooks is, like, the most hinges. This and is like... also incredibly uh, true. I'm pretty sure no one's ever said that about me before. Things <laughs> but... game on point. So, um, I kind of had to include this first one. Of course. Because, one, it did involve all of us. Um, two, it was a a rare Brooks appearance on the Twitter feed, but also, um, I just, 
I don't know. I have so many thoughts about this Mountain Dew, and I need to try it. Because I have not I also yet like tried that it shows it. my Twitter display name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just to add another little layer to the ridiculousness. Sarah Brooks yeah. and Izzy... Izzy O flagging... the apologist. Yeah. I am... And Izzy Hands apologist first, and a human being second. <laughs> um, and if you watched uh -huh. last week's stream, you will have heard even more about that by the time this comes out. So, Ooh, I, anyway. I will end with that first season come tomorrow. Beautiful. Fantastic. We love it. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, I yeah, don't the know. The Mountain I think... terrifies me, and like I'm kind of afraid to try it. Oh no, I I I don't. I'm not going to try going into it thinking it's going to be good. Okay, yeah, you know when you put it like that. But it also, there have been so many like, foods I've tried that like, I like. There's there's things that you try, you know, they're they'll be bad in the same way you like bad movies. Like you're like that is the entertainment factor. It's a little less like applicable yeah, okay. to food, but. The logic is still there. Honestly, yeah, that's a good, that's a solid way of thinking about it. I'm here for that. I'm just well, alarmed it's... that you, like, now that I think about it, like, you paid money for that. Yeah, that's, it was so funny that you sent the meme about it, because I was like, I have that in my fridge! Like, because <laughs> we were, you know, we were road tripping it, coming back from uh, New York City. Oh, for... and, oh I yeah. never even asked, how were your wild, did, like, how were your wild Star Trek parties afterward? Not as wild as uh, advertised. Aw, rip. Yeah, it was, it was fine. Just went to a pub. That's kind of fun, though. Um, yeah, but we were uh, on our way back and, you know, stopped at a gas station for road snacks. Of course. Um, I did a little overboard and got a bunch of different snacks. I also got the, um, I forget what the official name of it is, but the Pineapple Mountain Dew. Interesting. That, that... I haven't opened it yet. It's in my fridge still. Um, but I, I had saw that I was like, well, I have to immediately try this, like super excited about it. And I was expecting just, I don't know, something powerful, <laughs> something like that's of note, I guess. And mm -hmm. really all it tastes like is sort of like a lighter Mountain Dew flavor with a bit of an afterburn and you can kind of feel it in your sinuses. But as far as the actual flavor, it's not really different, like my uh my two friends who were in the car with me both tried it and they were like um that just tastes like watered down mountain dew with spice in it <laughs> so it's uh it's disappointing i guess okay in a way good to know yeah all right zach we can move on whenever you would like yes we are on to number two <laughs> 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 um <laughs> <laughs> no, no Twitter feed summary would be complete without a uh, my brother in Christ. Reference. I love that meme so much, and I need to stop like saying it. <laughs> oh, I, it's it has it, become a part I, of my vocabulary. No, I'm definitely in that transition phase between saying it like sarcastically and it just becoming mm -hmm. a part of my. Yep. Vocabulary. Yeah, it happens to me um, all the time. Yep. Yeah. Um, and it seemed fitting given that this was Twitter. Yeah, and we we love to hate it, but you know. Yeah, I will say it's, that is incredibly fitting. We, yeah. Um. All right, we can go on to the third one. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For a guy I like the two made... thumbs down reactions. I know. Oh, yeah, you can see the reaction. They was even thinking about that. I don't know. Yeah. I just think that's such a funny thing to say. It absolutely is. Really New York is so weird. New York is really weird. It's and such to a say strange that, place. That heroin is like cheese. Or cheese is like heroin. Which, <laughs> like, I mean, like, every what a mood. Yeah. Yeah. Like, every single meme really? about how, like, white people are obsessed with cheese and, like, you can control white people with cheese applies to me in ways, and like, to levels that I'm embarrassed to admit. Depends on the kind of cheese. Of course. 
Um, Excellent. All right, we're four. <laughs> so I like both of these. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So first of all, just just going with like the whole our Twitter feed is like off the walls. Yeah. Um, I was like, okay, if our Twitter feed is like a street sign, that's it. This is it. Yeah. Like Cotton Lane Prison. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> and zoo because i love when i like walk into whatever medium the three of us are talking about and like it's been and like everyone has just been sending has been essentially like screaming into the void for like 10 minutes like brooks is talking about like running or whatever zach is talking about some hill drama i'm like talking about fan fiction or like thirsting over some or like thirsting over fictional characters or something and it's just this sort of weird cacophony of people separately shouting into the void but the void is at each other yeah you are the void yeah and i feel like that is actually such a great summary of what our group chats look like it's basically like group therapy yeah except no one it heals is... right we are no actively one... making each other worse no one heals and everybody talks at once yeah yep there's no yeah. talking stick <laughs> no um it's surprising my favorite part of that one. Oh, this one. First of all, it is relevant given yesterday's primary race. Um, this man is now the Republican nominee for Senate. Jesus. Um, the one who basically said Mexicans killed my mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Bridget, pretty on point. Like, <laughs> yeah, the, the direct, direct pipeline. Oh, I direct pipeline. <laughs> The border so, of the the United States Mexico border actually now shoots up to Ohio. It's kind of like, I mean, I know I've told this story before, but this is just so unhinged. Like when the governor of Idaho left to like go on vacation to like Montana or something, and then the lieutenant governor of Idaho tried to send the National Guard to Texas <laughs> <laughs> to do what? I don't know. That's people crossing the border. Ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. It's like there is some law. It's like if the governor is out of state, technically the lieutenant governor is in charge. And she mm -hmm. just took that literally. And oh my god. <laughs> just <sighs> like like they I don't know. Idaho is a weird place. I mean, I'm pretty sure we decided that it doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. So, so this makes sense because everybody knows that Ohioans make their own meth. So I feel like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can say that I'm from Ohio. <laughs> okay, yeah, fair. <laughs> My brother in Christ, it is in your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I'm, I'm only semi joking. Oh yeah, no, no. Uh, this country <laughs> has. A terrible narcotic problem <laughs> very cute okay uh this could lead right into the instagram screenshots if we would like might as well yeah works for me who did instagram again this is the only... <laughs> <laughs> i think this is the only just pure meme that i put in there <laughs> but like it's so true is the I thing know. <laughs> yeah like it does sound like a great time if you don't know what either of those things are it does like hey let's go waterboarding by the bay <laughs> <laughs> help us uh, no my my strategy in choosing what to put in here is I was specifically trying to focus on not just like memes that were sent, but interactions that we had around memes. So no, this is the only one that's just the meme, just it. because it made me laugh the other day. I think that's a pretty solid um, reason for including it. Yeah, and I also have to note that a couple of them I couldn't fit on a single screenshot. So if you see like a 7.0 and a 7.1, that's because those go together. That's fair. Noted. All right. All right. Let's go ahead to number two. Rock and roll. <laughs> oh, and some of them are just like. 
tutorial technician. Did we ever figure out what that is? <laughs> oh, he just like worked with turtles. Like he like tracked endangered turtles. It's actually really cool. Oh my god! The, wait, that's so fun. I thought this man yeah. was like I don't know some form of like I don't I don't even know what I thought. <laughs> No, like, like, the job is really cool, but the job title is cooler. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, if you get to list that on your resume, I am eternally jealous of you. Yeah. Eat yeah. turtle. <laughs> Eat turtle. <laughs> oh, we love puns like, in real time. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Incredible. Number three? Sure. The one I grabbed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah this is the the mindset whenever we're going through airport security like, i, I even, know i don't even own a firearm and i never will but before i get on yeah. a plane i'm like damn what if i accidentally like yeah. got that glock <laughs> like what if i forgot to take my machine gun out of my pocket yeah <laughs> what if i, I, I whenever you go through security you feel so guilty I know. And, like, I feel like the just, whole experience is designed to make you feel like a criminal. Right. Regardless like, of whether like, or not you've done anything. Yeah. But. It's the same, like, if you drive past a cop, though, even if you're not doing anything wrong, you merely just, like, I'm driving past a cop, me, and, like, you're not speeding or anything. But there's just that automatic, like, fear. Yeah, no. Yeah. Not a big fan. Um, yeah. Also, one time I went through just such a humiliating experience. I went through airport security once and forgot that I had like a half finished bottle of soda in my bag. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Man, they're gonna put me in jail. They're gonna think I was trying to bomb the plane with my Mountain Dew or Dr Pepper or whatever it was." Flaming Mountain Dew. If it was okay. flaming hot Mountain Dew, there maybe I could have blown up the plane. Didn't exist then, though. Big sad. Big sad. Are you gonna stay put? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was the one you get muted. <laughs> Evidence of my continued trouble causing in our various group chats. <gasps> yep, that definitely made me laugh. Uh... Which just, again, the knowledge that you turn off notifications from me specifically, like, is one of the highest compliments I've ever received. And it makes me go out of my way to make everything I send to either of you, whether it is in a group that you are both in, or to either of you separately, as unhinged as I possibly can. The number of times I have been alone and seen something from Bridget and said out loud, like, I can't do this with you right now. <laughs> like, way too many. Yes, 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 yes. He's like, nope, nope. This is my legacy. Not today. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> this is my legacy. The next one's very much related. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what started the problem. <laughs> this is why you get muted like... <laughs> wait no that wasn't even the first that it wasn't even like the first thing that i did i definitely oh, recorded no. something else this was in that was in like response to the knowledge that you had turned off notifications for me specifically i'm trying to think about like because when we first started hanging out, I was like, oh, she's, like, really cool. And now I, we know how unhinged we are. But, like, I feel like it was a, like, a frog in boiling water yeah. where I just didn't realize as it was getting more and more off the rails. And now I'm like, well, guess I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and really, if all your friendships aren't like that, um, get cooler friends. Yeah. Absolutely. If your friends don't make you want to throw your phone into a river, you're you definitely step it up. Well. In my humble opinion. Nope. Wrong window, Bridget. Uh, the next one is a two-parter. Oh my god, I love that whole meme. 
the why are you as a I love the why are you as a man meme just like period trying yeah, to read it yeah I don't even know if that's necessary it's really the, the second part that's oh is this another thing I said <laughs> no you said it the, was the second part the sec the 6.1 <laughs> yeah hold on yeah yeah. He DMs me trigger warnings. <laughs> yeah. I think that Don't was what me. did it. Probably. I love all the role I have taken on here. The next one's a two parter too. Beautiful. Oh, what was this again? Oh, yeah, and that's oh. like don't quit, but it was in reference to just drinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 7.1. I love it. Should we but specify we for legal that. reasons that is a joke? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, no felonies were committed and oh. or 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 attempted. No. Is that something you find <laughs> funny, Mr. Mullaney? <laughs> <laughs> At the time. You want me to kill that guy for you? <laughs> and the thing, the part that I was most embarrassed about was see you at improv, improv practice. <laughs> uh, yeah, for legal reasons, that is a joke. Yep. Yeah. Shall we move, move along? The next one is just something that Zach wrote. Right, right. Oh yeah, what was? Oh, what was the context? Of that? I don't remember. I was just like going through and screenshotting. I mentioned to Bridget before we got started that I was trying to like you know scroll up and it kept scrolling back down to the bottom and I'd have to scroll oh. back up again. It was doing this whole thing. Pain yeah. yeah. So I did the best <laughs> I could before I finally just lost all patience. Despair. That's yeah. That's valid. So I got ten out of it. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. so there's two more. <laughs> oh yeah. June. That's not this a real month. <laughs> this just felt like a really chaotic interaction. In no sense, just. Also, it's like you know, my time that once was. I know. It was almost fun back then. Yeah. It was like, uh, well, at, at that point, it was like cool, like three weeks vacation. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Well, yeah, and then we're like, huh? And, well, and, and then we're like, oh, more vacation. And then we're like, wait a second. Well, hold on now. <laughs> and then they're like, wait, we have to so work. anymore. It's so bad. Indeed. Final meme. <laughs> Final meme. <laughs> So it does. I never got to have an emo phase. No, I wasn't allowed. Which is sad because that means I have to do it now. Yeah. But I like. I think the fact that I like have actively decided not to have shame is like almost worse than that sort of middle school thing where you like haven't been shamed by society yet. Yeah. So I think that almost makes it worse. But I'm no expert. All right. Now, our kind of grand finale of a lot more interactions. The Discord chat. We will begin with numero uno. Which ones you chose? Oh, the cat! Best thing ever. And also, I like that in this particular screenshot I took, you can see the start of another post from Zach. It was about how the best cookies are made in Intercourse, Pennsylvania. And I just like that these things are, like, often happening concurrently when we're talking to each other. We're 12. We are 12. Yeah. We have yeah. never <laughs> pretended not to be in our defense. 
I love how I already forgot about that, and that was a month ago today. I would think that would stick with you, but honestly, that's fair. <laughs> no one. <water>. Wasp. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> love that one. Wasp. I like how it just says... One, I love that it says no water, wasp, and then I love all of the various misspellings of wasp cup that could have happened. Wax cup. Wax cup, wasp cup, incredible. Yeah, so good. <laughs> yeah, huge fan. Um, yeah, you know, we'll just go right along. This is why Starbucks needs unions. <laughs> that is why Starbucks needs unions, but uh, Discord number three. Zach, a lot of the stuff that I took screenshots of is from you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, you're, like, the most entertaining person in the group chat. That's why. <laughs> Got any games? I, I, I say that way too much. <laughs> Sometimes with a friend, they're just, like, texting and it's like, Got any games? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of love that. I don't know how to feel about the fact that you haven't done that to me yet. <laughs> Although we aren't in the same room often, so. There you go. All right, number four. <laughs> <laughs> Those of us who know him best. Those of us who know him best. <laughs> Which is in reference to a tweet that we cannot repeat for legal reasons. A horrible tweet. <laughs> a tweet that has long since been deleted. And is the reason that Brooks cannot and will not ever respect us. I mean, we can repeat it. It's not, like... It's I feel just... like that might be going... <laughs> I feel like that might be going a bit too far. Those of us who knew her best. <laughs> <laughs> God, I miss her so much. I miss her so much. And that's also the reason why we're constantly saying I miss her so much in the group chat. Yeah. It's, um, just, just so that we are on the record here, it is a tweet about Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and, um, yeah. that's, that's it. Yeah, nothing, there's nothing particularly offensive, it's just really weird. No, it's, 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 it's not, it's just, which, uh, okay, not to, like, totally make this really somber, but, like, totally unironically do miss her yesterday. Of course. But, like could have used you not her fault nobody's blaming her for that but yeah like, not not her fault that she died yeah nobody's gonna fault you for you know but um anyway yeah <laughs> moving, <laughs> moving right along uh but yeah elongated musket elongated musket <laughs> 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 It's always the worst, because then you have to pretend that you don't know, and sometimes you, like, don't control your, like, facial reactions when they first start talking about it. Yeah. And you're just like... I felt the exact opposite of this when you were starting to watch What We Do in the Shadows and said you missed the Baron. I want so much more of him in season four. Please, I'm begging you. That's a fun... Honestly, yeah, the opposite of that feeling is great when you know that someone comes back. Mm hmm. Number six. This is mostly just about the soup. I just forgot oh. to crop it. Wait, can I just, just going back to, to that thing real quick, um, to, to the one before, when my dad started watching West Wing, um, mm -hmm. I forget what it was that she said, but Mrs. Lanningham said something, and my dad was like, "Oh, I, he was like, I, I love her so much," and I was like, "Oh, oh yeah." When someone starts liking a character that you know later turns out to be like an asshole, I was like, "Oh, it hurts." Oh, th that's almost worse. Yeah, that's like like the whole plot of Frozen. Pretty much. Um, but yeah, no, I didn't. I forgot to crop this one but it's mostly just about the soup i still haven't done it because i don't know what i would do with the box of cheeseless mac my comment right there says you can get creative with it i can get but i have to come up with a creative solution first yeah i just love 
how we go from mac and cheese, mac and cheese, mac and cheese, mac and cheese to I've joined a Facebook group for literary puns. <laughs> yeah, again, there's always a lot happening. Very little. Yeah. The thread to follow is pretty much non-existent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there are no crumbs. <laughs> no. Next. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Our boy I... Ben Shrapnel. Ben Shrapnel. I fell asleep listening to like a Sam Harris lecture on on YouTube, and I forgot that like my my like the the thing whatever it is where like oh, it the plays autoplay. Yeah, because I woke up to Ben Shapiro. That's horrifying. And, like, that like, is worse than sleep paralysis. What was it that they said on Pod Save? Whatever the crooked one uh, was, but they're just like, like I would recognize that nasal twang anywhere. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, was... Yeah. No, that's worse than sleep paralysis. I'm gonna say. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everything is on fire. <laughs> what an idiot. Anyway, next. Oh, I hated this. <laughs> <laughs> Brooks, I was surprised that one came from you. Okay, let me tell you. As soon as I saw this, <laughs> I was so excited to share it with you guys. Just so excited because I knew you would hate it so much. <laughs> Does the jarpet match the jeans? And you were so right. <laughs> like the meat reaction, I looked at this and was like, oh, they're going to hate this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> I just love that Bill Nye account so much. I do too. Bill Nye, though. Yeah, this one's... Oh, shit. Hold on, my headphones just died on me. Two seconds, friends. <laughs> Bringing out the really old ones. Yeah. Literally gonna twiddle my thumbs. How do you... Actually, how do you do that? You just, like go back to using a cord like a peasant oh. um worry yourself <laughs> no idea <laughs> playing thumb war with myself it's fine i think i'm winning are you back hello oh okay <laughs> Okay, cool. I think I fixed it. Fixed. Sorry, I thought my headphones would last longer than that when they started telling me that the battery was low. I was mistaken. And that's on me. Um, continuing. To number 10. One, I just love the sign, and two, I love that any mention of Dune immediately devolves into Dune your mom, ha <laughs> Because once again, we are 12. Did you ever find out, like, if there was any story behind that sign, or like... Were they having, like, worm races? That'd be fun. They must complete the journey. That's kind of fun. Worm charity. Next. <laughs> I 
Yeah. It really, it, it is. They were, like, they didn't like how you turned out, and they were like, you know what? Let's try this again. Let's do it but right this time. Fun, fun. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Zach, you said this one very recently and I loved it. Yeah, that was just wonderful. Because, <laughs> like, what do they know? I hate those. I hate the captures so much. And also, like, who cares if I'm a robot? No, you must pass the robot test. Damn. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, um, honestly, at this point, so what if I am a robot? Um, just stop making me fill this thing out. It's very rude of them. Okay, next! This is kind of a two-parter. The thing that's really important here is just the constant... John, like, how almost everything between me and Zack devolves into some form of, like, little honky ass... And, uh, the other example that I have in the next photo into, like, John Mulaney references and, um, stuff like this if we want to move on to 13. Or 14. No, wrong one. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I mean, we can discuss this one anyway. There's just another example of how our, um, every interaction between Zach and I devolves into quoting from, um various John Mulaney bits and the song Professional Rapper by Lil Dicky and that tweet that we can't name for legal reasons. Like, it's just a circle of us referencing those three things. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, we can discuss the next one even though it's technically kind of out of order. <laughs> Whoever, those people, whoever get in there and, like, change the Wikipedia page of whatever individual to reflect whatever weird cultural thing is going on at the moment, just for a couple minutes before they inevitably get kicked out of Wikipedia, you are my heroes. <laughs> oh my god, did we break Zach on air? <laughs> I know. Like, how was that real? Like, I can't believe that happened. But yeah, um, whoever goes on to Wikipedia articles and does this is on par with whatever supernatural entity is out there. Um, just, like, changing the Wikipedia page into the past tense two seconds after the news breaks that someone has died. Um, y'all are, are the heroes of the internet. Whoever's out there doing that, you're doing the Lord's work. <laughs> All right, we can, we can move on. This is what I meant. This is precisely what I meant. A lot. Right now. I knew you were dirty ass once in head. Oh, I love that song. <laughs> I, know, I think I saw it. I saw it on one of those accounts where, like, people, like, caption their cats. And there's this picture of their cat, like, who's probably just tired, but, like, midway through blinking, so they look like... And they just said, what you want, bish. <laughs> and I don't know why, it's just stuck with me. I love it. I'll find that if I can. Um, Next.
so much happening here. <laughs> yeah. Where on earth did you find that, by the way? I believe it. All right. Well, there we, I mean, we maybe have an answer. Ah, uh, rip. Oh, cute. Very cute. Oh yeah, I don't think I got that one. Apologies. Oh, yeah. All right, let's move right along. Oh, yeah, I just put this in because I said I was going to in the chat, and I don't like to seem like a bitch. Without a tea. <laughs> Quite literally, because I finished my cup of tea, like, 20 minutes ago. Oh, just because I think it's really funny that we were both drunk and outside in the middle of the night and we thought we saw, like, a predator. So our solution was just to stand there and stare at it, like, in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah, you had to, like, yank me out of some trees. Yes! You had to pull me out of a bush. It was great. <laughs> yeah, or like a wolf. We thought it was a legit wolf. Not like a coyote. Like an actual, like, could kill you wolf. I mean, I'm sure a coyote could probably kill you, but... Yeah, so we were just like... Yeah. Was that the first time we ever hung out? Because that's, like, a lot. <laughs> now that I look back. Yeah. That would have been fun, though. You could be right. You could be right. But, um, yeah. So, that happened. And I believe the last- I believe this next one is the last one. Oh, yeah. I just love how enthusiastic- like, you can summon Zack by mentioning potential tattoos. <laughs> it was your response to me finally showing that picture of- my dog's paw print that I finally got because I think I'm gonna get that tattooed but yeah so yeah this is what goes on between the three of us on a day-to-day -day basis it is a wonder again it is group therapy but no one heals we are all making each other worse every single day yeah we're making each other worse in so many ways it's a lot of fun and frankly, if your friends are not making you worse, um, again, get cooler friends. Yeah, get cooler friends. Um, damn. I wasn't expecting that to take the entire episode, but we can also just, like, vibe for a couple minutes if we would like. Or if y'all have things to do. Noted. Interesting. No, <laughs> oh, I love that. I oh, was speaking of cats. I went to go see cats last night. Um, I had a fantastic time. Uh, as did my short king. And here's the thing. Uh, plot wise, pretty much non-existent. Um may have a lot of questions while you're watching it, but am I bored? Not one of them. I will say, I was thoroughly entertained for two and a half hours. So. 
And you know me. There's a sign right up there that says Broadway slut, and it's accurate. Albany. Uh, it was in Schenectady, actually, but... Local, yes. Ew, gross. Don't do that. Yeah, that like that kind of ca caught me off guard. I was like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> I love that for you. interesting now I'm actually thinking about I don't know if there's a lot of discernible difference the accent I use with my friends I'll pretend those words mean something to me Yeah, why don't I know? I mean... Mm-hmm. Interesting. Ooh, I don't like that. <laughs> I kind of that's kind of fun. I've never heard that before in my life. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> I think I've, I've the only thing I've the only time I've ever heard that is in movies. That's so funny. I like. Oh, I guess it wouldn't matter because they're all from the New York area anyway. But I was like, I don't have any functioning memories or enough functioning memories of any of my grandparents to know if they had like weird old people turns of phrases for things. <laughs> I mean, that's what, again, we are 12, that's what you're supposed to do. Well, they're even better. Oh, hello, cat loaf. Oh, oh, she has risen. Aw. Too bad we're not being as funny as we were when she was on your lap. <laughs> the tragedy. Um, that just made me think of that TikTok I sent you guys where it was like, put a Jesus figurine on top of <laughs> Jiffy Pop. <laughs> he is risen. <laughs> TikTok is awful, but every now and again, you find some real gems on there. <laughs> Amazing. I'm glad to be thought of. I'm glad that when you see something awful, the first thing that comes into your mind is, let me show Bridget and Zach. These two need to suffer as well. <laughs> I love it. 
All right. Well, I think I think we did pretty good today. I have been looking forward to this one for a red hot minute. I'm not gonna lie to you. I. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad that now everyone who watches this can see what it is like between the three of us, literally every single day, and why we continue to get crazier and crazier as this podcast goes on. <laughs> This is why, again, we are actively making each other more and more insane. Oh, God. Yeah, it has been a red hot minute. Of course that's when it started. <laughs> oh yeah. It might have been like last summer. Damn, look at us go. And also it's so weird to me that this is like, or at least for me, that like, I've put out 75 of these things now, which is insane. So that's kind of fun, kind of proud of that. But yeah, again, we are making each other worse bit by bit, day by day. It's very fun. I mean, Which is frankly very impressive. And I thought you were going to say no, because you have, like, you know, again, real grown adult things to do. But you're like, nah, I think I'll hang out with these two idiots. <laughs> okay, yeah, Val, you know what? If, if you needing a distraction from real adult things is what it takes to keep this little robo to float, I'll take it. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, synchronicity. I hope so. Oh. We might have just, uh, we might have uncovered something there. All right. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or it's like Harvard wants to know your location. <laughs> no. Nope. Very small rocks. <laughs> Alright, this has gone far enough. <laughs> no, nope, we'll be here all night. Um... Thank you, friends, as always, for fighting with us. We appreciate each and every single one of you, and we will be back again with more chaos next week. Adios. This week's episode of the Fighting with Friends podcast was hosted by Bridget Kelly, Zach Calderon, and Dr. Sarah Brooks. You can find other episodes of the podcast on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, or your favorite listening platform. Follow us on Twitter at Bridget Kelly 98 at Zach Calderon, and at Aunt Sarah said. Rate and review us on your podcatcher of choice, like, comment, and subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitch, and join our Discord community using the links in the description. You can also help support us via the ACAST supporter feature or consider donating to our Patreon. Thanks for listening.